What's up dudes, it's Picks of Tricks. Today I am playing through arcade mode in Third Strike with Kenneth. I got that grape flavored Ken, bro. Look how dope this game is, dude. Third Strike is so sick. I've been getting so into this game, man. Yeah, it's really fun. Unfortunately, the online for uh, the anniversary collection is like not so great. Yeah, that's the one that I'm playing right now. And the other version, the actually like good online version, is um oh look at that that was kind of clean bro <laughs> yeah it's uh it, it's like on xbox 360 and ps3 and i hate capturing shit on the ps3 is like the worst thing ever it's so annoying and you have to pay for a membership for those it's just such a mess i just want to play some video games i have to pay like a premium to play online bro i wonder if nintendo will ever go to uh stoop down to the level all right, of Sony and Microsoft with the with their like paid every month online like bro Why would they not frankly? They're dumb for not doing it. I would pay every month for it because I play smash brothers It would probably lead to a lot less people playing online With all the money they'd be making from everyone that's willing to play every month they'd probably make up for it Oh, yeah, this is Sean. This is a like the person that can like tutors yeah, cannot do. He's beating the shit out of me, bro. Yeah, this is a. I recorded this one. My, I still hadn't figured out all my mic issues, so I'm just chilling, dude. Grenade? What's that man saying? I don't even know anything about Third Strike. <laughs> I really don't know much about the Street Fighter lore. I, I find it very interesting. Yeah, I've been getting a lot more into these fighting games. Again, I've been going through another fighting game phase. I always go back and forth. But yeah, dude, uh, sorry if you could hear the rain. It's super, super gnarly outside right now, dude. I got caught in the rain last night. I went to the store, and it wasn't very cloudy at all. It just happened. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to walk. I'm just going to walk to the store. I've been working out a whole bunch, you know, just get a nice little walk on, pick up some, uh, pick up some uh, things, right? And then on the way back, I was carrying like four or five. I kind of went overboard because I got this coupon for Safeway. And it was like, they remodeled the store. Alright, so it was like, if I spend 50 bucks, I get 10 bucks off. So I was like, oh hell yeah, bro. And this coupon's about to expire. So I walk over to Safeway, get $50 worth of groceries. Oh, this man is sick, dude. This is Dudley. Dudley's sick. I love this theme, too. It's really dope. But yeah, on the way back, I'm carrying like five bags. Five bags on my body. And it just starts pouring rain. And I just get soaked so much. But thankfully, the girl um, at the counter, she gave me like two plastic bags each for like. So, like, my groceries were fine at the end of the day. But I still got soaked. And my phone got completely drenched. My phone fucking broke. My iPhone got completely drenched. And now I don't have a phone. <laughs> and I'm like so pissed. And I feel like shit. <laughs> I just feel awful. I'm like sick now. Because I was in the rain. Yeah, I'm trying to get the big fight with someone. Oh, dude, he threw the rose at me. That's so dope. What a character. This is such a Street Fighter character. Dudley is, isn't he? Like, what a card, man. Uppercuts. I love him. He's so hilarious, man. I'm out here laming out Dudley CPUs with my cannon, bro. <laughs> I don't know Street Fighter. <laughs> let me just let me just get my nice, get my nice fireball game, right? Yeah, back away. Oh, that's a pretty good good button right there. That uh, uh oh yeah, there you go. Okay, I don't think that was an actual confirm. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm sure if I went online and I fought people in this game, I'd probably get like clapped, bro. Because I went to Ultra Street Fighter 4, and I went online, and I could not. I, I, I took, like, two games out of, like, two hours. <laughs> like, I was just getting clapped. Back to back to back, bro. It was awful, man. And, uh, because they don't have a ranking system. They actually do keep track of, like, your wins and losses, but they don't, like, put you with people of your rank. So, at least in Street Fighter 5, I can go in Street Fighter 5 online and get... Like, you know, like, fight people around my skill level, right? And actually beat people with fucking damage yet. 
you know, like, I go to old just Street Fighter 4 and these people got these gnarly, like, cancels going on and I just get destroyed. It's very discouraging, but that's kind of, like, part of the process when you want to learn a fighting game or something. And, like, these games have been out for so long. Like, Street Fighter 4? When did Street Fighter 4 come out? I don't even know. Street Fighter 3, like, <laughs> like, the 90s or some shit like that. People are still playing this game, man. Like, this is, like, the melee of, uh, of Street Fighter here, right? Yeah, pretty much. Because the first Street Fighter was, like, really, really rough. All right, I don't think I've ever showed it off But yeah, there's a reason why people don't talk about the first Street Fighter Um, Because it's just it's a mess man. <laughs> it's it's like the first of its kind and it was just Like oh dude, this character looks so this is like the second best character in the game Yun Look at this guy's buttons man. Look how like fluid. He's like the ultimate Street Fighter character man He has he has it all he got the movement speed. He got all these like fancy tricks and stuff. I think his super makes his moves even better too. In this game, balance is all over the place, man. Like the good characters are like really good, right? Yeah, it's like Yun and Chun. Yun and Chun are the best characters in the game. Yeah, and like I, you know, like I'll watch competitive Street Fighter uh, Third Strike, right? And check it out. It's really fun to watch with all the parries and stuff. I I don't know. It just it's kind of what leads me to uh, Wanting to pick up these games, you know, because I You know, I see some cool stuff online and I want to do it myself, right? It's usually how it goes Nice, let's go Always awesome to see. Oh, Hugo. Hugo looks so fun, too. Hugo's one of those characters, like, he gets you in that command grab, man. And your momentum is just shattered. <laughs> you know? Like, he hits you once, and you're like, oh, God. <laughs> he seems like one of those characters, right? Yeah, him. And, like, Zangief. This thing about Third Strike, they actually got rid of a lot of characters in this roster. At first, they didn't want to have Ryu or Ken. In this game like the like these are the guys you know these are like the street fighters right Ken and Ryu imagine a street fighter without Ken and Ryu right yeah but I, I guess they wanted to just completely uh, replace the entire roster and that's why I think those are the only returning characters yeah I think so oh and Akuma and Akuma as well but other than that I don't think I think this is Yurian's first uh, Street Fighter was it? I'm actually not entirely sure. I don't know much about the Street Fighter 2. That's another game I was like, oh, I'll try to get into it, but it's just rough, man. It's like real rough nowadays. And for the most part, oh, dude, Scoops, bro, he needs this, man. You see, that shit's so hype, bro. These hype Hugo, oh God, he did it again. Come on, Ken. They'll wake up short of you. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Look at his expressions, too. Hugo is just hilarious, man. Yeah, can you believe people actually thought this game was, like, mad ugly when it came out? Isn't that crazy? Yeah, because when this game came out, all these other fighting games were going into, like, the, uh, like, the 3D fighting game era, I believe, right? Yeah, I think so. So, everyone was like, oh my god, dude, this game is so ugly, but, like, it's so well animated. It's funny because all those other, like, 3D fighting games, like, look just god-awful now. <laughs> right? In comparison to this, I think this holds up really well. Yeah, I think the sprite work is just uh, fantastic, bro. Right, that's another uh, fighting game genre I haven't even touched. Like the Tekken games, dude. I played Tekken one, like once, and it was so <laughs> I was I was getting slapped so much by the CPUs. <laughs> that's the worst. Like it's one thing to go online and get destroyed by someone who's been playing for a long ass time or whatever. Right, but like when you're facing the CPUs and like they're programmed to be really, really gnarly because a lot of these fighting games actually originated like in the arcades, right? So they were actually designed to like escalate like more and more. And that's like, you know, typically how arcade modes work, right? But they really made some of these 
uh, CPU is just impossible to get past, right? <laughs> because they wanted you to put in more quarters to uh, continue. Let's go, Justin. All right, no, I don't got that yet. <laughs> it's not even the right super. Yeah, okay, so this is Chun-Li. This is the best character in the game. Yeah, Chun-Li has like really good buttons. She's really fast, really nimble. Yeah, of course, the infamous Daigo Perry. Or it's Ken versus Chun, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think Tekken, I'm sure Tekken... God, when you talk about a game that's a time sink. Oh my god, Tekken is insane, dude. Looking at, like, all there is to learn. Because each character literally has, like, hundreds of moves. Or something crazy like that, right? Like, they have a lot of stuff they can do. And I don't know how much it comes down to learning the best stuff and just doing that over and over again. Because essentially that's what most fighting games boil down to. You know, you got like your good things that you want to abuse and like a lot of your other moves you're not using, right? Because you know, you got your good buttons, right? I don't know, I, really, I never really thought about it. Like how much does a Tekken player actually learn their character? <laughs> like, I'm sure they have to, right? I don't know. Man, I just don't have time for something like that. <laughs> I can barely learn these Street Fighter characters, bro. <laughs> I can't go with these Tekken, and like, how many characters are in that roster, too? Yeah, I don't know. Didn't Tekken, like, charge for frame data? <laughs> I think that's, like, part of a DLC. Yeah, and if you wanted to learn frame data for your character, you have to buy a DLC, bro. <laughs> it's so bad. It's rough. Yeah, I always, um... I've been giving Capcom shit for years for all their DLC and... You know, all their alternate versions of all their Street Fighter games. When you actually add up all the Street Fighter games, like, in different versions of them... I wonder how many Street Fighter games there actually are you know what i mean that aren't just like different versions right because i think this is like our third street fighter 5 and i don't even know how many street fighter 2s there were there were a lot dude there were a lot because i believe it came out in like 1993 street fighter 2 or something like that and we're in like 2021 and we're on street fighter 5 so that kind of puts it into context i don't know maybe i'm wrong let me look this up i'm actually dreadfully curious street Fighter 2 release date. Let's see. 1991. <laughs> I undersold it. <laughs> wow. That's insane, man. Street Fighter 2 came out in 1991, and here we are in 2021. <laughs> like, wow. Bro. It's crazy. That was before um, there was, like, updates and DLC. Yeah, that's true. So, if they wanted to actually make these additional versions of the game, they actually just had to re-release the game again. Remy. I don't know anything about Remy. I think this character is really bad. <laughs> because you never see anyone play Remy in competitive. Yeah, I think this... Oh, he has like a Guile, like a... Uh, down Fierce. That's cool. I will say, I love this guy's style. He looks real dope, doesn't he? You got the blue hair, you got the lawn, like... You're like some 70s-ass, like, pants, bro. Oh, he kind of got, like, Sonic Booms, too. Oh, wow, that's a really unsafe move, yeah. He got an uppercut, right? Okay, there we go, I'm doing stuff. I'm learning. Crouch medium, crouch medium. <laughs> a real camp player. Yeah, you can actually build meter in this game by, like, just throwing out moves. You don't have to, like, hit your opponent. That's another reason why Chun is so annoying, because her back fierce is really hard to, like... It, it can be really hard to get in on. And the recovery is ridiculous, and, like, it builds so much meter. Yeah, it's a good-ass move. Oh my god, look at this background, bro. Look at these skulls. Oh my god, the most unsafe super. <laughs> okay, I think I'm starting to see why this character isn't in competitive. <laughs> Yeah, it sucks. All these cool-ass characters in this game just can't can't keep up with some of the better ones. It's a real shame, right? 
yeah, like G. You see that guy up in the, in the top left with with the fucking fedora in the in the coat? That's G, man. He's fucking. He's sick, man. Uh, you're not quite what I expected, but you sure do have the face of a fighter. Behave yourself. I'm destined to become the king of the new century. You should thank me for using you as my entertainment. Keep talking like that, and I'll do much more than just entertain you. Oh, dude, let's go, Ken. Yeah, all right. And then he, yeah, he rips his clothes off. I don't know, oh, what's going on here? <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> Someone explain this one. I like, because <laughs> I, I couldn't tell you. Looking at the wrong guy here. I don't know where you find the story of Street Fighter. <laughs> I, I think they had a movie or something like a while ago. I, I never saw it. <laughs> I think it's like Mortal Kombat, right? It's like, you know how the Mortal Kombat movie was pretty rough? Like, <laughs> I think that was Street Fighter. No, yeah, they had a live adaptation. Street Fighter movie. Wasn't Kevin Nash in it? That's rough, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I think I remember now. I saw a clip of it. Dude. They're making a new Mortal Kombat movie. Did you hear about that? Did you guys see that trailer? Are you hyped for that? We got to get back to Mortal Kombat, bro. It's just I haven't had time to learn this. I, I want to show up the DLC campaign. Maybe that's what we'll do next. Yeah, I just feel like shit. And I don't want to start like a new series that like requires me to be talking a whole bunch, right? So like... Okay, trying to do cool stuff. But hey, maybe that's what I could be doing while I, while I like sit here just dying. <laughs> I, I'll just uh, learn a bunch of Mortal Kombat stuff and then I'll show off the DLC. Because I don't have to be talking for that, right? It'll be like watching a movie. That's why I love Mortal Kombat, dude. Their story modes are well worth it. Like, it's not often I can be like, yeah, buy this fighting game because the story mode is fucking worth it. You know what I mean? Like, I bought Mortal Kombat 11. We played through the story mode, and we had a great time. And that shit was so good, right? And it was, like, high-quality shit, man. Like, it was well-made stuff. And, uh... Yeah. That's right. I think they were talking about selling NetherRealm Studios. Or something like that. Warner Brothers were? God, wouldn't that be awful? That's, like, the last, like, good fighting game. Like, okay. I don't want to talk too much shit about Capcom, right? But, uh, I don't know. Oh, dude, that ending, bro. That was clean, bro. Did you see that? That was kind of, that was mad sick. Let's go, Kenneth. Hell yeah, bro. Oh, the most infamous boss in all of Street Fighters. Listen to this, man. Was oh, someone getting naked in this game? The mark of my dignity. Yeah, right, motherfucker. Put some fucking pants on, man. Why are the two bosses of this game have no pants, man? What's going on? Cryokinesis. Yeah, okay, so this this character, I, I don't show it off here, but if you take out his life bar and he has a full bar of super meter, he will resurrect completely back to full health. It's called resurrection, and it's so unfair. This is like, this is like one of those bosses, those fighting game bosses that you point out and be like, yeah, that was bullshit. <laughs> Gil, right? Because Gil actually himself is not as bad as like, you know, your typical, uh, like, you know, like super boss for, you know, fighting game, right? Except for that one thing that he can fully heal himself. Besides, that's like the one, yeah, he has full bar right now. So if I take out all of his life, he will recover all of his life, and it's such bullshit. But yeah, he used to super right there, thankfully for me. So right here, I just kind of throw out the buttons, right? <laughs> like, I don't know anything about this game, bro. <laughs> I just kind of throw out a bunch of stuff, right? Bye, Rogue. And he's, they actually made him a legit character in Street Fighter V. Yeah, they got rid of his resurrection shit. I think during the story mode, he actually will still do the resurrection. Oh my god. Oh, this is so tense, bro. Oh, he's taking it. Okay, there we go. We made it, we made it, we made it, we made it. Let's go. All right, Ken. All right, so we got it. We got no continues. I think we lost a couple rounds. It's fine. 
Here we go. Sure you can. Was that Zangief? Oh no, he doesn't seem to be getting back up. The battle is over. Channel my inner Pokemon trainer there. Showing the strength that we've come to expect. The winner is Ken. Three US championships in a row. History has been made. This is an exciting moment for Ken, his family. Oh, see, I knocked him out in 30 seconds as a promise. Oh yeah, here you go, Sean. This is for you. The US Championship Trophy. You wanted it, right? Master, that's not what I meant. It's meaningless if I did not win it for my own efforts. Oh, is that so? You shouldn't be too worried about that. At the very least, you must pass the qualifying rounds next time. But you won't be the winner since you still can't beat me. <laughs> okay, there it is. <laughs> Let's go, Ken. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So Ken like trains uh, Sean in this game. Yeah, that's right. That's pretty much where we... Uh... Yeah, I guess that's where we learn our lore of the Street Fighter games, right? Yeah, I guess. Dude, check out these credits. I didn't even notice this before. We got all these like funny looking names and symbols. Well, we did for a second. Yeah, that's right. So that's a that's third strike. It's a really cool, fun game. I think in, I will go ahead and uh, show off online sometime in the future. Maybe got to get some of my confirms down a little better. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. We can try. You know, I uh, I learned some Ken. I, I learned a lot of Chun too. I got some Chun lead show off, and that could be fun too. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I, I really want to learn some G and Hugo and like some fun characters, right? <laughs> I don't want to just be playing all the top tiers. But I am new with this, so I need something to help carry me, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I didn't gravitate towards these characters because they were top tier. I just thought they were cool. And like, these are like the characters I saw people playing. I was like, oh, I want to learn this, right? So. God, I hate when games say game over when you win them. <laughs> like you did bad or something, like, right? <laughs> it's the worst. It's like I won the game. <laughs> Alright, dudes. Well, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. I'm gonna go learn some Mortal Kombat stuff. Alright.